What is our fourth main topic today? All right, our last one's coming from Brandon. Hello, John and crew. I had recently seen that Spider-Man Spider No Way Home is getting released in the UK two days prior to its US release. While I realize most movies are released staggered, do you think a movie as big as this one with the potential of spoilers should have a universal release day? Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for saying that in. And yeah, look, it, it was reported, we found out a little bit ago, that Spider-Man No Way Home, which is opening on the 17th, I believe, I think it's the 17th in, uh, in North America, is actually going to be releasing in the UK on the 15th, which puts it a couple of days before it opens here. Now, this has raised a concern with some people because we all know how, it, you know, as Ridley Scott would say, the Twitties, how the Twitties work, <laughs> that... Within about 10 minutes of the first sc public screening of Spider-Man No Way Home in the UK, yeah. the entire plot of the film is going to be out and online. And you're not crazy if you think that, because that's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to play publicly for hundreds of thousands of people, maybe millions of people in another part of the world. And hopefully, they're all going to be excited coming out of that theater. And they're going to pick up the bane of Ridley Scott's existence, the phone, and they're going to get on the Facebooks and they're going to get on the Twitties and they're going to start writing out the plot. And I'm not talking about like, like Shang-Chi where it's like, Oh, you know, this character shows up. No, we're talking about this character shows up and then he does this and then he does this and then he does this and then this happens to him. And then this happens, which led us to this and this and this. I mean, look, the entire world has believed that Andrew Garfield and Peter Parker are going to be in this movie for over a year. The entire world's already known that. So it's not, it's not going to be a big thing when that comes out. But I'm talking about, like, the whole plot of the movie is going to be out there. Just like with when Eternals, I remember five minutes after Eternals finished its first public screening, I mean, it, I, it had people writing in, even to our, Ray, you know, people writing into our live chat board and writing in, like, the full plot. It's like trying to spoil it for people, saying everything. It's like, oh, this guy's actually the bad guy. He does this, and he betrays this person, and he murders them, yeah. and then this. And it's everywhere, right? And it's everywhere at that point. And so I don't think somebody's being paranoid by asking, hey, if this thing opens a couple days, is it going to be everywhere online? Is like all the full plot details going to be everywhere online by the time this thing comes out? And the answer to that, unfortunately, is probably yeah. It's probably yeah. It's probably going to happen. It'll, it'll probably be there. So what's the answer to that? Well, you got to you gotta take responsibility for yourself and stay offline for a couple of days. If you are really, really, like, look, I, I've given this example before, but I will say it again. When Sons of Anarchy was on, one of my top three all-time favorite shows, and I wasn't going to be able to watch an episode the moment it came out, I knew well, I'm going to have to stay offline or at least stay off Twitter until I have a chance to watch it in six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, whatever, because I knew people are going to talk about it. So I got to keep myself, I got to sequester myself from Twitter and all that kind of stuff for a couple of days. The one time I forgot to do that was the episode where Opie died. <laughs> it was like, I actually read it on in a tweet oh, no. before I had a chance to see the episode. I'm like, well, I got nobody to blame but myself. Um, so there's that. Now, and here's compounding the problem. It's not just the UK that's opening in. I think it's like seven countries. Seven countries. We oh, got, shoot. it's opening in Finland on the 15th. It's opening in France, in the UK, in Indonesia, in Ireland, in South Korea, in Norway, in Russia, in Sweden, and, and in Taiwan. That's how many qu countries it's opening in. And by the way, in Italy. And in Italy. To all my fellow Italians out there, uh, non rovinari Spider-Man, grazie amici. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so it's going to be opening in Italy too. So it's, it's opening in a lot of places. So there's going to be a lot of people out there who will have seen the movie, know the, ever, the whole plot, millions of people, and they're going to be able to get online and they're going to be able to start talking about how it. many days is this before the movie releases two days it's two days yeah so that so it opens in all those countries on the 15th 
and then it opens here on the 17th. But listen, there's also a bunch of countries that it opens um, the day before. Because while it opens in all those countries on the 15th, look at all the countries it opens on the 16th, which is still the day before it opens in North America. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, uh, Czechia, Germany, Denmark, Croatia, Hungary, Mexico, Malaysia, the Netherlands, Portugal, Singapore, Slovakia, wow. and Ukraine are all opening before they open here in the U.S., in Canada, in Estonia, Spain, India, and all the other places. That's a, Let me get this place. It shows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28 countries before it opens here. That's a lot of people. Can a lot you block of tweets. countries on the chat in the chat. <laughs> yeah, can you just block <laughs> entire countries on the live chat before you can get in? So yeah, look, it's it's probably gonna happen. So look, the question then becomes: Well, then shouldn't they, you know, do a global release date? I've been advocating for something like a global release date thing for a long time. Like back in the movie when the big problem facing the movie industry was piracy. It's like, hey, guess what? The piracy is happening because the movies get released here and then there's other countries in the world that hear Americans talking about the movie all the time, but they're not getting it for like six more weeks. And so it's encouraged as piracy. Do a global release date. Gonna, do. But I get it. Movie theaters or movie distributors understand that we'll maximize our, our, maximize our profits if we put it in this market on this day. We'll maximize our profits if we put it in this other market on another day. And I get that. And listen, for a lot of movies, it doesn't matter because a lot of people will say, well, you know, heaven's sakes. You know, Ghostbusters Afterlife came out in one country on one day and another country on another. Yeah, but every once in a while, you get a movie like Spider-Man No Way Home that, listen, I think that the whole um, thing about, oh, is, is Andrew or Toby going to be in it? I, I think those are barely scratching the surface of all the stuff that is going to be in Spider-Man No Way Home. I think there are going to be surprises in this movie that exceed any of that other stuff. I honestly do. I think there are going to be I think there are going to be surprises in this thing that are going to shake the world. The movie loving world at any rate. And so when you got that level of stuff, it becomes all the more dangerous. Not so many people care about what happens in the third act of the last duel. All due apologies to Ridley Scott. But, not, you know, the, the world isn't waiting to find out what's the twist in Act 3 of The Last Duel. So people aren't getting online and tweeting it out all over the place. Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be one of those movies. Because, Ray, it's got all the big surprises. Big surprises! <laughs> it's got them all. It's going to have all the big surprises. <laughs> you know, it's hard, it's hard not to get spoiled, especially if you're looking or if, like, you know, you're just in this... If you're a movie fan, you know, you're going to hear stuff, but I, did, I don't think anyone could take away the experience of seeing something for the first time on screen. Yeah. But even if you know what's going to happen or not. Yeah. It's just that they'll never be able to take away that moment. So, like, that's that's what happened with Endgame with me. But then when I saw it, it was just like, you didn't take that away from me. You can't spoil that for me. You know, that's so true because I was just talking about my experience with uh, Sons of Anarchy and Opie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's my own fault. I saw it on Twitter before I watched it because I was a day late watching the episode. But when I watched the episode, it didn't take anything away from it. Like, I was still like, like, oh, I still had all the feels and all the emotions and all the pain because he was my favorite character on that show. I, I had all of it even still. But yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot. To, so I don't. let me ask either of you guys. I'm proposing you just got to stay offline for 48 hours. Probably even less than yeah. 48 hours. Probably more like 40 hours, 44 hours. You just got, is there anything else people can do to try to avoid this? Close this chat. <laughs> Close the chat. Yeah. I think we're going to have to shut down the chat those two days. I mean, you're going to have to be though. real, no, real but, careful monitoring everything but, on the chat. You know, there. the problem with the chat is you can't screen the messages before they are put in the chat, which I wish they had. Yeah, I wish because, they had that like, feature. They just need one second. And then, like, you're just reading through the chat and you'll read it and you'll be like, oh, darn. You know, I, I don't see why people get a kick out of that, you know, but yeah, by doing that. But... I, you know, that's a really good point. I wish YouTube had that feature that said, like, that, like give it like a 30-second delay there where you, the moderator, 
can see the the chat going out, but there's a 30 second delay before it actually posts publicly. But for then even to see. YouTube, people will scroll through their like home feed, and then some channel will have a screenshot already or something like that, and have a headline. And it's like there's no way you could get away from it. Like even sometimes you're not even looking for this stuff, and you just accidentally run into it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you're saying, like, stay off social media. That's why I'm not on social media. <laughs> I still like to be surprised during movies. There's a couple of movies that I, that I was still surprised uh, watching, like um, with the the new Suicide Squad. There's a couple of things that happened there that uh that I was surprised at uh when they occurred. So you know, I still enjoy that that part of movie watching. It's 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 gonna be a big thing because it's all anybody. It's the big look. It's easily easily the biggest movie to come out since 2019. And it's it, not just like big like oh I can't wait to see this. There's so many secrets. Yes, mm -hmm. so I call, I call many it, secrets. I call a movie like this big secrets. Big secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I call a movie like this a top secret movie. You know yeah. because it's not just a script. Like no d director wants their script to get out, but a Marvel script. Oh, that's unlock and key. I will be fasting social media from the 15th until I see the movie. I won't be on YouTube, um, hardly ever on Twitter. I won't be on Instagram. And like I already am not, I really won't be on Facebook. There's no way to avoid it. You just have to be disciplined. And I don't know what joy people get. It's a sinister joy to be like, I can't wait to spoil it. Oh, by the way, Cap gets the hammer. Like... What do you get out of that? Like, you know how exciting it was for you. Why do that to someone else? Come on, man. But one thing I will tell you, I sure hope that no critics slip up <laughs> like they have been. Oh, Forbes will. And these <laughs> oh, people Forbes, who Forbes really don't out. understand <laughs> the passion of, you know, comic book fans everywhere. And they just start slipping stuff because they think it's cool. Don't freaking do that. It's not cool. You're not awesome for doing it. You're not in the know. You're being an ass. Don't do that. First. Don't spoil it. You know. It's Because that's a, for people who really love the, the franchises. It's such a special moment. I love surprises. I, 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 I definitely cried at Endgame and not when Tony died. I cried when Cap got the hammer. Like for, for those of us who love these characters, that's such an emotional moment. Don't take that from somebody that you know what it's like. And I'm going to go there. It's like being, being at a gender reveal party mm. and you bite into your cupcake or whatever the heck they're doing early. And you come near the mom and go, you excited for a girl? Cause you're going to have one. You <laughs> stupid son of a, that's what that's like. That it's like the guy that spoils the gender reveal. Don't be that. Cause guy. I can totally see Forbes writing. And by the way, I love Forbes. We quote Forbes here all the time. I Talking love you Forbes, Forbes. But, but they, they have this habit in their reviews. I'm just giving everything away. And I could totally see a Spider-Man no way home review coming out of Forbes and basically saying, uh, there's a marvelous part in act two when professor Charles Xavier uh, comes through Son and has it. a heart to heart talk with Peter about the <sighs> responsibilities of managing and learning how to deal with his power accurately. And then Blade, uh, you That's know, when my phone goes through the yeah, wall. Blade, you know, uh, echoes the professor's thoughts. And at that point in time, Luke Skywalker arrives with his lightsaber. Read the room, it's Bob. Yes. Yeah, do, you think, do you think the Spider Man, not only, you know, how you're saying it's going to be the biggest Spider Man, it could be the most important movie, right? Because it'll show. At, do to you set think up, to introduce yeah, yeah. Do you think it'll show like where Spider Man is going from here, or do you still think that's Doctor Strange? Or I, I, look, I think it's either Doctor Strange two or this movie. I, I think this movie at minimum introduces the catalyst that will take Spider Man out of the MCU, and then the, his actual leaving the MCU will either happen in Spider Man and Doctor Strange two, but he may not be leaving the MCU at all. Like I, I, that's just my speculation. I don't know that for a fact. That's just me guessing. But I think this is going to be. Not just a very fun movie. I think this is going to be a pivotally important movie for the MCU. A pivotally important movie for the MCU. Not just for this one movie, but for what is coming after it. So, yeah, I think and, it's going to be really and important. And if it's good, you could um, put the, this series or franchise as one of the best trilogies out there. You know how you always bring up... You it, know. It's, listen, if this movie is as good as, say, Homecoming then it's in the conversation for best superhero trilogy. I'm not saying it is the best superhero trilogy. I still think that's Captain America. 
But or, you know, and or maybe the Dark Knight one. But it gets into the conversation because Homecoming was great. Far From Home was so good. And if No Way Home can kind of even just be on that level, let alone exceed it, I think it has to then be in the conversation. I mean, there's there's a lot of good big things that can come out of this it's for this Spider-Man up. movie. It's coming up. It's coming up. And when that new trailer drops on the 29th, <laughs> oh, man, I tell oh, you, yeah. all the tickets <laughs> to be followed by hashtag 22 Tuesday. Oh. It's either gonna be it's either gonna be ketchup egg Tuesday or two two Tuesday. It's gonna be one of the two. We'll see which one it goes with. Anyway, the question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Like, are you concerned about the fact that there are a number of countries, including you know the UK, that is getting this movie and the audiences are gonna be seeing it publicly days before it opens up in North America? Are you worried about that? Are you not so worried about that? Whatever you guys are thinking about it, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.